Hello everyone and welcome to Witches of the Moon. My name is Jen and I am your Tuesday hostess. Now this week we are talking about spells and we're going to actually share a spell with you. Now you won't just have the same spell from everybody. You're going to have seven different spells. Um, if not more, depending on how many they want to share with everyone. Um, but I'm going to share one that is a seven-day spell. Um, it involves two candles. One is a black candle and the other is whatever you need to work on, whether it be love or money or luck or whatever. So I'm going to leave that color candle up to you. But the first one that you do need is a black candle. But as you know, if you can't find a black candle, a white candle will work as well. Um, white is kind of the universal color of candle that you can use for anything. It's really your intent that you're going to put into the candles anyways. So that's really what you need. So you do need two seven day candles. Um, these candles can be in the, you know, the ones with, that are in the the jar, the container, whatever you want to call it, or they can be just a regular seven day candle that's not in a container. Um, you know, you can carve symbols or whatever into your candles. You can put herbs on them, you can put oils, whatever it is that you do to dress your candles, you can go ahead and do that at any bright well. You want to do it before you start this. So that's something that you want to do, but think about what it is that you want to do for this spell. Choose your candles, choose your herbs, choose your oils, choose whatever you want to um, inscribe on the candles and you can even do that with the jars. If you want to put symbols on the outside of it you can do so or I have also seen um, where you can take a piece of paper and wrap it around the candle itself, well not the plain candle, but the ones that are in the glass container and you can write stuff on those. So that's something that you can do um, before you get started. Then the next things, the other items that you're going to need is a piece of paper. You are going to need um, purified water. You are going to need a pen, your magical pen, your favorite pen, whatever it is that you choose to write with. Um, you're going to need a plate or a saucer and it should be big enough to hold both candles um, and I think and a lighter obviously and I think that's pretty much all that you're going to need. The next thing that you're going to want to do is to set up a basic altar however you choose to do that and I don't think I need to go into that because we all know how to set up an altar and if you don't create it however you want there's no right or wrong way how to set up an altar. So that's the first thing that you're going to do after you get, gather all your supplies is set up your altar. And then what you're going to do is you are going to take your plate or your saucer, put it down on the table, pour the water, it doesn't have to be completely full, just pour some water onto the plate or the saucer. And then you're going to, on the piece of paper, write down your intentions. What is it that you want to achieve? you know and you know whatever it is just go for it write it down whatever it happens to be whether it's you need money you need luck for a job you're looking for a job you need love whatever it happens to be write it down write as many things down on that piece of paper that you want and fold it fold it up and place it down in the water the next thing you're going to do is place both candles on top of that piece of paper Yes, those candles are going to get wet. If they're not in a container, they're going to get wet. If they're in the container, they're still going to get wet. doesn't matter. The ink is going to mix in with the water, but that's okay. It's not going to bother it. And then what you're going to do is before you go to bed, for the next seven days, you are going to light the candle. When you light those candles, you are going to put your intent, your thoughts of whatever you wrote down on that paper, you're going to be focused on that. You're going to focus your intention on that and really be thinking about that as these candles burn. And you want them to burn for 15 minutes, 30 minutes, you know, whatever, and then snuff them out. Do not just blow them out. Um, you know, some people feel that 
when you blow it out that ruins the spell and the spell is over but if you snuff it out then it's okay and you're going to repeat this for seven days on the seventh day after you have let it burn completely out if you're already done at the end or if you're just going to snuff it out after 15 to 30 minutes depending on how long it took each day how long you let it burn for each day you are then going to remove both candles from your property do not leave them on your property you're going to dispose of them in another area now the black candle is going to break any barriers that you have any roadblocks that you have up so to speak or anything that's in the way of what it is that you're trying to achieve that blank black candle is going to get rid of that and the other candle of course it's going to be for what you had set the intention and the purpose for so um yeah it's pretty short sweet simple and to the point and it's something that I think everybody can do. Um, we all have candles around. And I mean, you could use different, I mean, you wouldn't want to use like chime candles or you wouldn't want to use the little votive candles um, necessarily unless that's all you have. And then, you know, as long as you have as many candles as you need to re to keep that going for seven days I'm sure you could do it that way as well or if you have the long taper candles you could use those so there's a number of different ways that you can do this and like I said the cut the candle color um, the one needs to be black if you have it which I know black candles aren't always easy to come by so you can use a white candle and just write your intentions on and you know your symbols or whatever it happens to be and even if you do have a black candle you can still carve your intentions or whatever whatever you're doing so um, yeah that's pretty much it so I'm sure you're going to see some other great videos on some spells and that's really all I have for this week so until next week have a great week and I'll see you then bye